in this video I'm going to be working with uh, what we call it also diodes like the previous video still working on diodes but specifically today we'll be working on type of zen they call them zena diodes zena diodes are quite different from uh, diodes you know the symbol of diode is like this this one is like this and and uh, like this so these ones are known because they work in reverse they work in reverse diode i mean bias and they are also normally they are normally used for um, potential regulation or i prefer saying voltage regulation voltage regulation so keeping voltage between some specific range okay so let's try let's try to work on this problem of zena diodes okay first we are given that this is supplied with um, this is supplied with this much of 10 volt here oh no oh the zena diodes uh can can only takes uh or can regulate 10 volt and then it has some resistance of um 30 and then we said that this thing was supplied from 11 and then till i mean they were changing it until it was 20 volt now they want us to tell tell what, what was the change in current during that variation so i think first we have to find uh, the 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 current if it was at 11 for if uh, v s is equals to 11 let me just make that an initial case so i think you'll have some some voltage that you are supplied with which is 11 minus 1000 this is uh kvl that i'm doing i'm doing kvl uh, minus 1000 of that current initially minus voltage drop by that zenit diode of which is this much and also this zen diode has some sort of resistance of which i'll call it uh what do we call it let me just sub it in it was rz of which rz is dd i that thing should equal to zero because i'm going just right around the loop okay cool so then now i can put this on the calculator and see how much i get for i i initial but or maybe current current at when uh 10 volts is supplied so after punching in my calculator i get something like uh, 9.7087 times 10 negative 4 amperes okay we could make it to milliamperes if you, that's what you prefer which is also good okay let me move and now what if if it was supplied vs was now 20 as they said because that's how they varied it then only thing that will change here will have 20 minus everything will be the same 100 i initial minus 10 v minus 30 i no it's not initial now let me not say initial let me say i at 20 and call this one i'll call this one i at 11 i at 20 now is equals to zero so there's still the loop around but now this will be a loop but now we're focusing on 20 so then we are going to go to back to our calculator again and just change one number that 11 to be 20 and if i do that and solve uh, i get some number and now that my i when it's 20 and i get some number i can 97087 uh, times 10 negative 3 also still in amperes then because they wanted that difference in current then i can say my difference in current on the zener diet can be current when it was 11 minus current when it was 20 and if you put that in your calculator it's going to be this minus this and then you get an answer and after punching i get an answer of zero point zero zero eight seven three amperes you can just move your comma one two three and make it eight point seven milli amperes so it's, this is your answer 
Cool. So now the next question, I think it's question two. They now want this. What, what was the change in voltage? Because this thing, even though this thing is trying to maintain 10 volt, but it does vary uh, in a very small amount, but it does vary a little bit. So how much it vary? Let's just go there. What was the change in V? Okay. Okay, it's going to be... I'll just use in ohms. Um, like this right so we want this change in V we can put change in current and our resistance so our resistance doesn't change so our change in V I mean our this is change in current our change in current we just got to be 0 0.0087 close our resistance is there I think it was given let me just go there and confirm. And our resistance was, I got it here, it's 80. Then I come and plug it here, it's 80. Now I'm solving for this. So, oh, what is the question? Yes, I'm solving for change in V. Change in V, just putting this in the calculator. Multiply whatever answer I got by 80. I hope this is correct. And now, I'll get 0 0.2621 volt depending on the number of civil configures that you want. And that is how you work with Zener diodes. Hope you understand it. Thank you.